Anyway, not for broadcast. I mean, I won Stacker. I would like to think I at least have a little bit of sense about what should be on the TV and what shouldn't be. Ah, my Tony Walkboy. Oh no, I'm British. Breaking news. Stacker defeated. Alright. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't know anything about TV, news. What's the screen? Oh. I need the viewers to rate, comment, and subscribe. What are you doing, David? Sorry, I fiddled with them. Uh, no fan doesn't work. No fan. Uh. Ah. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. You're trying to kill Nope. Not allowed to hear this. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. The election. Incorrect. There. Uh, sorry, viewers at home, I accidentally hit the big sensor button. Oh. First day in the job. Nah. <laughs> what, I would want to watch this? Why are people not interested? I'd love to see TV just screw up. Hey everyone, go look at this man! Oops, I meant this! That! Uh. Sorry, I just. Oh, there. Nailed it. Oh, sorry! What if I just go to. This guy! What? Ah! Are you gonna let me do this myself? You! What? Oh, I'm not Lawrence. Uh, sorry! Uh. Sorry, I mixed you up with another British person. Oops. You mean this chair? <laughs> In case you're wondering what's next, it's the medicated. See, that's my problem when I watch TV. I never know what's next, but if they're always reminding you... What a wild... Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. Bullet Man. The medicated. The true story. One soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all. A love of course. A love of course that has to be medicated. What? No, well, just... Uh, no. uh -huh. Well, really interesting, Lawrence. Uh -huh. The medicated. Oops. Oh, no. Like you. What? Oh, three. Cut me. And I will be the medicated. That's how it feels, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> Bleeding, giving, suffering. Uh, yeah. I suppose in the end. Real nice, Lawrence. I do it for the people that I inspire. The little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I bring about in the world. The medicated. Today, of course, <laughs> we're. In I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics... Don't! Don't listen to him! One should always... strive to... Don't! No, 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 no,
Oh. I have to censor my salad. Yeah, I feel like more people would like to watch a train wreck than not, in all honesty. Also, someone's going to say a bad word. This is just like Parappa. It's just like someone tells you what to do at first, and then you get to remix it. The medicated. What? What? Uh, what? What happened? The character in this is quite the medicated. I'm implying you're a really bad actor and the medicated. <laughs> oh my god, the movie. Don't worry, having no signal there is an artistic decision. A plus! That couldn't have been better. Perfect TV. You've never seen better television. Wait, you can't say ass. Kind of into this. Nailed it. Welcome back. I'm sorry about the language. What? Hey, hey, this guy's not doing a very good job of censoring. What? What? Well, it wasn't on my feed. I was showing people that I know won't swear. Oh, I'm so drunk. Like you guys. I kind of just like cutting back to their really uncomfortable reactions. No more hiding wealth off short. Did you hear that? The age of accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. No so tax laws. Public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today. But I go to public school. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? Oh, I gotta pour myself another drink. What? My sports cars? My vineyards? Ugh. Uh. Did you go to commercial? Put the salad back on! Oh my god, I forgot! Ah. So, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Mighty News. We'll be back tomorrow. How did they even notice there's interference? I have no signal up anyway. I'm Jeremy, I'm Jeremy Donald. No, oh, no, you got cut me off. <laughs> what happened? E, A plus, and then E again. Outstanding censoring, thank you. Editing was just terrible. Not seeing what I did wrong. I call that an A-plus sandwich. Done. But before that, let's take a look at what's coming up later on tonight. Oh boy. At seven o'clock, it's the semi-final of the quotation game. This looks promising, but this is the part that I didn't do yet. <laughs> nuclear physicists take on his guests in incisors, and tonight sees a return for leading economist Katie Brightman. Here's my show about teeth. Finally, at midnight, it's the National Web Report. <laughs> the National. <laughs> oh no! 
for the National Nightly News. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main stories tonight. <laughs> As global mega I didn't know it was this bad. As Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports I thought I did a better job. As popular footballer Johnny Hamsley's wins sports personality of the year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Bronco. I think it's better. About his new movie, The Medicated. And of ah, course, the medicated. going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic victory. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Thirty seconds back. Nailed it. I think we're good. The country with their bold promises of permanent change. But critics have accused Seems fine. of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceived defeat and advantage. The actual tear fell out. I was laughing so hard. However, former Home Secretary Jeffrey Jeffries has issued a statement in which he comments that we have all been seduced by the shiny wrapping paper. I did a pretty good job here by not somehow messing it up. <laughs> It's fine, ignore that part. That wasn't my fault. That is Lawrence Blunderclatch. And later in the program, we'll be going to Oh god, I have to wipe my eyes. That first part. That's all killed me. Now for the break. That was pretty good. Celebrate the classic age of salad with this exquisite limited edition. I don't think I did anything dumb here. My Salad Weekly. Sign up now, and every week we'll send you an authentic, ethically sourced ingredient. Is there a way to skip it? Salad. Build your no, collection week by week, and very soon you'll have oh, a salad that really gets the lunchroom talking. From tomatoes and oils to leafy greens and lovely grains, this really is the complete. Just interact with collection. chat during the breaks. Every issue. Hi, chat. How's your salad? Magazine that explores the history of the art form. From the great <laughs> oh no! Or Edward the Confessor's discovery of there it goes. Goodness, to the man that changed the very way we see the humble salad, Julius Caesar himself. Start your personal salad collection now, and we'll send you your first three issues. Loose leaf. Remain. I don't know why the sensor's so funny. It That's isn't even. Plus this exclusive lettuce. It's a beeping head. sound to a video of lettuce. With free postage and packing. Order now, and you'll receive this crouton display case free. That's right. Oh man! Absolutely free. Why don't I have a crouton display case? With a case? retail value of eighteen ninety nine, your crunchy cubes will look their absolute carby best. But don't delay. This is. <laughs> <laughs> this is what. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. It seems fine. But first, our very own culture reporter, Megan Wolf, is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. That looked Megan pretty good. Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare to the Shotbot films. I'm very excited to be joined today by part is totally fine. That was perfect. So on. Oh, my dear. You could not have made that better. Just like television. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> so you've just finished filming your latest movie, which is called... Oh yeah, that's right, this is an A+. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said to Peter at the WAP, that's Peter Jensen, the director. He's a wonderful chap. The medic. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter... 
What a wild ride this has been. And do you know what made it? I really meant that. Oh, that, is fantastic. that is fantastic. A plus. Am I right in saying that the character you're playing this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't even know why it's funny. But seriously, yes! <laughs> I'm a complete departure just, from my last stupid. starring it just keeps role up. when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true A plus, story. though. One soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all of them. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars. I have to start yeah. censoring more next time. <laughs> It's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards. Although those three little statues <laughs> quite a place in my movie. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. just making this broadcast as uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, I'm afraid. <laughs> I will be. That's how it feels, doesn't it? doesn't it? How does it feel? It feels like the medicated. Giving. Suffering for one's audience. Uh -huh, thanks. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire. The little people. <laughs> but most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. What's coming up next? And I don't know. Today, of course. <laughs> We're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well... The medicated, no. <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think... It's not I that think bad, it's really. clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive. What's no strive to what? Lawrence, I believe you brought in a clip from the medicated, which opens next week around the country. Lawrence, do tell us what's going on here. I'd be delighted. <laughs> this is a really pivotal scene where my character, Dr. Lodz Hemlock, is faced with a decision that will affect <laughs> humanity's very survival. This is a random cut. Exciting stuff. The bunker. The medicated. It's in my It's not your fault. You think I don't know that? Mistakes were made. No one's mustn't. See, this is why you're single. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot about that part! <laughs> Dr. Hemlock! I'm gonna change the world, you remember? I'm listen to you. Dr. Hemlock! You told me, but I didn't listen. <laughs> I need to see this. No, it's all too late! This is scene missing. <laughs> It's got an A+. Plus. <laughs> this was the best TV that could be possibly made. <laughs> A+. Plus. Thanks for subscribing 10 months on the... Um Welcome to Tim's Discount Prices. 
Or no, wait, it's Tim's premium prices. Wherever that skit goes. You want to throw? Throw your money at us. We'll give you a leather sofa. You got two ninety nine for three dollars. If you got lightning, strike it. Then strike whilst the lightning is. Did I do anything to this? This you sofa. We don't care if it's smelly. Dug in front of your telly. Full of welly. We'll take that shit away. Don't make a meal out of it. Make I should have censored that. We got a big ass deal on a big ass chair. We've got white chairs, blue chairs, stools, inflatable chairs. It's a really long commercial. Crazy deal. With meal appeal. You don't want no lame ass chair. You want a great chair. We had a man come down the other day and he brought in his young daughter and he wanted her to have the best chair and you got gotta chairs, got you don't want a bad chair chairs on wheels, chairs on wheels. we got chairs twins chairs made out of steel chairs that are mm. steel and a deal we got those chairs you want crazy <coughs> we got crazy crazy nails got crazy deals you want a toilet i do we can do you a we can do you a toilet next to a <laughs> oh no do you a toilet crazy neil stop you bring your ass if you want it we Crazy Neil was arrested for public intoxication later that night. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to Advance Headquarters, where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Shall I start? Go for it, Pat. Okay. Oh, well, uh, thank you all for coming, and well... Trying to remember what this part was even about. What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They use every dirty low the medicated in southern I had against us, but you, the people, honestly, right through. Oh. Sorry about the language there. Sorry eh. about that. I've had a couple of celebratory fights. And mostly, did <laughs> good job. <laughs> but to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that Advance are not a political party. Well, they said they wanted reaction shots, so... Things are going well. Just give the people the what they want. Suffering. You don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change. You need a proper bash. But today is day one of a new future. A better... <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's silent when it cuts to them. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. <laughs> Again, colorfully put, but not inaccurate. Before oh, this game is great. To address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. <laughs> you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not I didn't know that it was going to allow me to play the whole thing Tomorrow, back. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth off. Creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So, all you public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today... <laughs> Just a grimacing. You want to leave like you threatened before the election. Oh. Yeah, stopping people moving. That is. <laughs> you're gonna pay up. You're gonna pay back. Advanced the medicated. Turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team to properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. That the sounds good. Said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret. So to you, <laughs> people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs, the, the people whose children you. I can watch the off screen stuff later. <laughs> Good. Richer. Advance have this to say to you it ends today. We are coming for your sports and your. <laughs> it ends today. <laughs> we will put the wealth of it. Always been. Oh my god. I have to get out of here. Today. Yes. It ends today. I'm drunk. And tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again. Just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I your gift. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> Well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. 
And our apologies for the fruity language. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about this part. <laughs> I didn't know there was interference. <laughs> so, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Mighty News. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. The medicated. With full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm. <laughs> Where can you get warm, sandy beaches? Do we don't need your name. <laughs> well, we're not sure, but here in St. Bumley on the Tate, we've got a big hill and the bus comes twice daily. Visit picturesque oh, God. this summer and experience a holiday that's a good game. Like any other. St. Bumley. Come and visit the abandoned spade factory. Your kids will love exploring the old production line in relative safety. Oh, I know I would. Tetanus shots and come down today. There's no gift shop. Oh, God. To grab an old handle from the skip out the back. Or why not indulge your cultured side and visit some of our sites of historic interest? Gotta. Like the parish church, currently the subject of a thrilling police investigation. The old market, home of the fairly big cabbage. Oh, or that's a big cabbage. The hole. Hey, that's a nice hole. That, yeah. And after a long day exploring Bumley, you can relax in comfort. One of two communal tents. Or you could take advantage of our famous nightlife. There's a radio in the calf, or on Fridays we gather to watch. Did I do anything fight. to this? I don't Come remember on, this. Harold, you scruffy old meth head. Only 85 minutes from the coast. I don't remember any of this. More than two areas of outstanding natural interest. Isn't it time your family went Bumley way? And hey, if you come in the dry season, you've got a car park. St. Bumley. On the tank. Oh, it cut off at the end of the new show? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. Nailed it. Oh, the rest of the questions are for me to complete. Upon starting a new job, I would... find a way to ruin it immediately. I've been practicing with my coworkers, and you think you'll win the talent contents, or contest this year? What, do you think I should wash my hair? Do you think that's going to make me uh, ingratiated to the new government? <clears throat> and then they're just going to reveal that uh, my character has been bald this entire time. Most important, or it is most important that government keeps people safe, free, happy, or equal. Uh. It's medicated. <laughs> <laughs> People like me, we're gonna lose everything. <laughs> Either, that's awful, but I'm not sure how I could help. You were always the well-off one in the family. Or, if he's wearing a wire, you might want to say, I'm sorry, but taking from the rich to help the poor doesn't sound so bad. And the people in the advance party are like, mm, Yes, we're not going to raid this person's house today. Is this toy safe? Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Elegant new skin cream with a porky little twist. And then, uh... <laughs> Crazy Neil's back. <laughs> no. I don't know, should I bring Crazy Neil back? Or check out a new one. Alan James! More crazy meal, okay. It's gonna be a well-worn tape by the end of this. Oh, do I want the pictures that make him creepy or happy? Oops, sorry. That's the bad one. Oh, wait, can I switch back to... No. Uh, Harry Potter. Oh wait, that's a graduate. <laughs> Why would you put this on the TV? <laughs> like, why would this even be an option? <laughs> Weird looking people. The medicated. I wish they just had that always as an option. 
Yeah, just a little hint of sensor now and then. That's all you need. However, the two are, uh, not the same height, as you've noticed from our stock photo. Thought it was important for you to see that. Rather have a mod that lets you play stacker while broadcasting. You could play stacker right here. What? Wait, what did I- what, what was I supposed to do? What do you want me to do? <laughs> what was it to, Oh, there was an ad! I didn't... Oh, I didn't notice. I forgot there was an ad. I know they were supposed to be off the air and I kept looking for the thing that was like the little news bumper. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no, not again. Oh, the countdown is the time until the ad. I thought it was the countdown until the... Oh no, I thought it was the time until the segment's over. Don't be again. Don't make me start the thing from the beginning. No! I thought the rapid panning was good. Just have 10% less fun. Oops. I know the smashing of the sensor button isn't helping, but I really, really want to see what it's like after I'm done with it. Sorry to make you listen to this again. Okay, now let's not totally tank the rating. I'm paying attention. Sorry. That was... Too much of the bollocks got out. What? Why is it beeping? One minute back. What do I do? You know, Where's the commercial? Some good. I hope so too, Jeremy. Commercial. Ah. Oh, shut the fuck up, Alan. I've never heard so much shit in my life. <sighs> Wait. How do I? Where's the commercial? Uh oh. Nailed it. Oh my god, is he gonna be shot? Oh, nice. <laughs> Just another random guy. <laughs> Is this the same people? You can't keep saying titwank. I'm sorry. Well, ratings are going up. Oh my god, the clown's gonna murder him! I feel like the audience would want to hear Titwank. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, an ad! God damn it! I keep forgetting the ads! That's okay, I have a checkpoint. I. Ah, sorry. Sorry, I keep forgetting there are ads. I know, I know. I wasn't looking at the chat. I was trying to... Ah, you're right. Sorry. 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 How did I lose all of the audience ratings? I mean, don't tell me. I know the answer, but... Am I blocking out the tit part or the wank part? The tit. Both. Add in one minute, okay. Okay, the ad's on. 
been a great night. In this next section, there's a bit of music. If you edit in time with the music, you can see the result on the vision mixer. Oh. What am I mixing? What's the... Wait, what am I doing with the music? Oh, syncing it. Topical? <laughs> That's where you're wrong, Gary. My two dads are straight. Yeah. I'm trying. Not very well. <laughs> I've been doing pretty well in the middle segments, and the other ones are not that great. <laughs> Editing was okay. Outstanding censoring. Thanks. That's the one thing I was good at. <laughs> oh, good. Wait, I had to censor that. Well, it took three attempts that I'm sure were excruciating, but we did do it. I think I have to get the drinking bird. Done. This is kind of terrifying. Are you ready? <laughs> oh no. I just hold on the wait <laughs> what happened I don't remember if I did this but it was outstanding <laughs> thanks for subscribing Rainy Kids <laughs> I don't know what to do about the beeping <laughs> outstanding <laughs> no swears getting through here I'll tell you that much Welcome to Nightly Tinnitus. Destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, us exactly, leading this charge. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold with a leading economist and radical free thinker. With the country's wealth creators in a state of panic, and unfavorable rumblings already heard from overseas, I'll be asking my guests whether Advance can deliver on a fraction of their manifesto promises. Out with the old, Remington's fist have appointed Sophia Remington as their new CEO. The f***ing photo, taken from our archive, gives us a sense of this influential young firebrand who, <laughs> tender age of 23, comes the youngest This is not CEO censored quite right. Sophia Remington's appointment <laughs> I feel like I was a little bit tighter on the censorship here. Sophia, as our regular viewers will be aware, has always been a wild child, and romantically linked to several movie stars and sports personalities. In her first <laughs> <Stand> <laughs> afternoon, <laughs> announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehugs. Sophia promises it'll be all the rage this Christmas, but questions have been raised about the product's safety. Making a splash. Rapid <laughs> scientist Dr. David Wong. Oh, all my censorship was on the wrong thing. I was censoring the audio and not the broadcast. So I was trying to censor David's taint and David Wong and everything else, and it didn't even... <laughs> I'm just mashing the censor button off to everything. Well, it's not going to be good. Outstanding. However... The two have released a joint in which they opine geniuses don't have to each other to achieve remarkable results. <laughs> Playing the field, the owners of that, the sporting legend, they sure don't. Is not leaving Bush 
one of the capital's hottest clubs. The footballer was called <laughs> Sports Personality of the Year last week, as reported by this very program. <laughs> and judging from the angle and velocity of that spray, it looks like Johnny may have been celebrating a little bit too much. I certainly wouldn't want to be his dry cleaner. And grievous bodily charm. With advance promising a radical oh, no. on crime, how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country to talk with people who've seen the criminal justice system from every perspective. Like these guys. People saying they're scared to walk the streets alone at night. Could this be exactly the right time for Advance's new approach? All that, a mega move for the group of young actors already experiencing the positive side of the new asset. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be talking later. That <laughs> national nightly news. Why did they censor the buffer? <laughs> The cuts are pretty good at least. <laughs> In the wake of the government's <laughs> swift enactment of the assets and Wayback, we're talking about Advance's first week in office and what the new future holds. <laughs> Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, <laughs> author of Alan James is Right. It's so funny. Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised. But what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. <laughs> You're just in prettier cages. A confident business all there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't, no. I think that Vance have realised the current economic system of unlimited, unending oh, growth God. is untenable, so they're changing things up. There I agree with you. They're moving to the next steps in the grand plan. Grand plan, Alan? It's a book. Alan James is right, Jeremy. We're to become the great <laughs> ignorant, <laughs> sterile and short-lived. That's what they want. Or perhaps Advance have just realised that if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption. If you'll accept the colourful metaphor. <laughs> orgy is the right word. <laughs> Only the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is shamelessly self-promoting. Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance the oh, most no. disruptive threat that the world powers have faced since the last great war. <laughs> Katie's war <laughs> <world> is inevitable. <laughs> Thank you, but that isn't and this will not be a war like we've oh, ever seen. Oh god, whenever it censors entire really words, I'm always happy. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking out of the wrong orifices. Mock me all you like, Jeremy. And they murder your and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno brainwashing, we'll be laughing then. That might be a great way to sell books, Alan, but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advice are radical and change is always frightening, but the truth is that the Wealth and Assets Act I just want to get to the next part. ...of the population wealthier and is on target to produce a permanent end to poverty. What this young lady doesn't understand, Jeremy, is that these are the same people. Maybe they've re but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've oh, mobilised the youth vote like we've never seen I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to happily to eternal bump. They're like psychic pedophiles. <laughs> but based on the facts, Katie, what are your predictions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first step. Advance now have a historic budgetary surplus, and as well as properly funding our public services, they're already <laughs> funding, they're already funding unprecedented amounts into scientific research. Or <laughs> book, Franken science, and opiates. Like opiates, see? Can we get back to the issue at hand, please, Alan? This is the issue. It's all coming from the water, the chemicals, they're pumping it full of belief juice. Don't get me wrong, juice. I want to see these changes, but only if they're sustainable. Mm. If advance lose their power after spending Beliefy. half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got a here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, um, what does the future look like to you? A bleak space where we <laughs> figuratively <laughs> colonized into submission. No, of course. Katie? We might be off of a brave new world. God, we need some change, but we need to be cautious. 
Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Oh, no. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating the phenomenon <laughs> before Megan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. <laughs> You know, I think they might do some good. Great. Kids, you love them, we love them, and they just love me. Does this get censored? I don't remember. State of the art human like voice. Oh, that's right, it does. But it wasn't timed right. And his incredible real action eyes. It's no wonder Mr. Snuggle Maybe he didn't censor it. If your child wants this Christmas. It doesn't seem like any of it got censored. That's right, little one. You don't want to be left out. I censored this one too, yeah. Oh, I was getting the music tutorial, that's right. Starring this guy. Advance have already tasked with their opinion a solutions team to move this serious social problem. This is the part I wanted. Tonight, we go behind the headlines. With the criminal justice system every day of their lives. First up, we have Gregory Judge, a lawyer who sees the problem. Can you hear me, Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. What's it like on the front line of the hard face of the cold hand of justice? Well, as you can imagine, Jeremy, we are massively medicated in this country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Uh, there just simply isn't enough being done at a demic level to reduce the problem. Greg. We need support from ministers. We We need change at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. leaving, Greg. Not a good time, darling. It never is, is it? I'll be at my mother's. No, just hang on. How's this gonna go? No, the, the, the problem isn't a low Jeremy. It's nationwide. Just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Dawes. Who oh, mentioned your affairs? No. Well, uh, the oh, affairs God. of the ju- <laughs> should be concerned about... <laughs> Hello, Mr. Donald. Thanks for subscribing, We need, uh, we need legislation to relieve the pressure on our public Sorry service. to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a m to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I totally understand. Quite the picture <coughs> there. Thanks, Thank Tony. You. Thank you for joining us. Next, I'm joined by Police Chief Cons- <laughs> And with a very- I <laughs> believe you. <laughs> I would have expected this from your sister, not from you. <laughs> when are you going to realise? We all do, Jeremy. I am sure we all long for a re Trust me, between the days when you could see the arse streets of your community, <laughs> looking in and generally enjoying it, without the risk of being terrorised by some <laughs> or cop. So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Uh, no. Well, <laughs> oh, it's so Tony Dawson. Question, Jeremy, but I think it all comes down to my diluted our culture and lost touch with what it means to be a <laughs> also as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon feel what hanging. and to what do you attribute this moral decay foreigner and gypsies mainly it's all in the bible look Leviticus clearly states that oh for a moment Jeremy the bloody gips escaped <laughs> Delia Delia could you give me a little help please dear uh, as I was saying Jesus did Immigrants, no. Responsible I hope he didn't. <laughs> Absolutely, Jeremy. A back in your box, Clive. Back in your box, Delia. I really could use a little help with this. I'm sorry, darling. It's just giving me the button because I don't know what else to do. Clive, could you put it back in his box? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. You've got back in your gift space. And whose responsibility is it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is certainly not the responsibility of the decent, good, white people of this. Oh, hold on just a moment. Oh, Clive, I am not having this again. <laughs> a 
as I was saying, Jerry, no crime is the responsibility of the criminal. No one else. Everyone has a sob story, but we don't all know what When our daughter Alice comes home with A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there. Really locking down the police's position on morality. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to Mallory at the Bridge Club. No, 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 no. Tony Dawson has recently been released from prison. Marvellous. Now, I've been three years back. <laughs> now, how's your idea of being to talk to us today? Which is also Do you know? His Many happy returns, Tony. <laughs> Call me Titwack, Tony. Everybody else does. No, I'm not going to be doing <laughs> Can you tell us what it's like in prison? Oh, God. Today? Prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. It's quite hard I to guess help. not. There's no well, image. You're not alone there, Tony. Tip my <laughs> Friday party. Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we'll try that you get back to that party as soon as possible. But first, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tip Tony! Hooray! I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. <laughs> Just the constant cutting that no signal is. I think asking that the is the funniest thing, thing at three in the morning. It sounds like it's getting quite busy. But it is excellent censorship. <laughs> Since we've been cast, have you been able to find a job? Oh god. Oh, we should have had a pause Chris. button. Chris. Vampire Chris. One sec, love. On the news. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jess. Can't wait for the full it's game of this. It's inherently unjust. Oh no, it's the police and the clowns. I'm sorry, who's this now? You are Christy Free. It's only got Mr. F. Yo. It's <laughs> It seems like we've That's an excellent censorship. <laughs> oh, I can't really hear you, mate. It's gonna. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, <laughs> seem to be losing the signal oh. here, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get that signal back. <laughs> I think we. Yes, Tony. Tony, I mean, we were literally away for two seconds. This is a game, yeah. <laughs> I cut this. <laughs> Poorly. <laughs> Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have a little understanding of the si- <laughs> This is so bad! Everything about him is awful, it just cuts it- <laughs> Cutting to nothing. Why bother strengthening your body, when you can strengthen your face? I don't remember this commercial. Skin deserves the best. So the new formula I think there was a tutorial during this one. From your skin. The high salt content actually pulls the dihydrogen monoxide right from your pores to give you the crisp, brittle skin you've come to expect. Oh man. The new Judico Shon will revitalize the appearance mm, of the strength brittle of your skin. face's skin. 41% of women we surveyed said they loved their visible yes. plates. And seven out of ten dentists would recommend it. It's pretty good. Judicon, because we said so. Welcome, Slack. I'm Megan Wolf, and on tonight's culture spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first <laughs> beneficiaries of Assets and Wealth Act, a team of <laughs> who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Great. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet, Charlotte, Wynne, Stanley, Dash, Hamilton. Girls. Welcome to the nightmare. We are, Megan. We're overwhelmed, to be honest. And I believe you two are sisters, is that right? Yes, Charlotte's my oldest. I'm the older, more popular one. <laughs> are you joking? Harriet and Trey were really the ones who came up with the whole idea. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria, and I said, hey, actually do something. 
So I went to look for a drama teacher. But she been laid off due to budget. Just <laughs> some great censoring, apparently. when I was university, so so I knew the ropes were. Oh, right, yes, but you're the maths teacher, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra, maths teacher. Maths is really important. Oh, thanks, Steve. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. As is theatre. It's one of the oldest art forms in history. I was stuck on <laughs> face. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in my career choice. And that's a very beautiful and powerful thing. We touch our audiences. They touch us right back. Pose with a surname like algebra. There was really only one. You could tell her I was trying to censor there. My wife didn't quite line up. We often laugh about Angela Algebra. Yes. We just want to bring a bit of song and joy into people's lives. And teach people about the difficult issues. <laughs> the issues in the play are what really matter. And I think we're going to be showing us an extract from the oh play. Oh, God. Yes. That's right. Put into context, I play a young first year who's having some troubles at school. Her character doesn't actually have a name, yeah? Because way, she's like all, all of us. us. It's like a metaphor. Maybe she's you at home, or like, maybe she's... Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> in coach. Yes, thanks, Steve. Maths is really important. I wish I had a scene for that. To Cut to. <laughs> That's it. That <clears throat> oh, boy. So, Jeff, when did you first hear about the wrong? Uh, two days ago. A letter from Advance arrived at the school. Now, the headmaster thought it was all a prank, but his secretary retreated from his bin and brought it to me. <laughs> oh, how did you react? I also threw it in the bin. But then, Harriet and... Zoom in on his butt! And, uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page. Next thing you know, we're on tour! Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. Do you know what it's for? Is Angela <laughs> and those out? We were not very political. I'm a mathematician. Awesome. She's a censoring is so but bad. We did it's not even close to censoring what I wanted. I forget. So let's have a look at a short section of Hey. That's the part I almost died on. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. This is good editing. Another day of tears. Tears. Oh. Another day of fears. Fears. Another day of tears for fears. Still I walk the corridors alone. Alone. Dreading what might be around every corner. What's around the corner? What's around the This is good editing. What's around the corner? Well, okay, not that part. Oh, hi Gary. Oh, heavens no. <laughs> it's Gary the... <laughs> Going somewhere, little first year. Great. I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. Well, this makes me about my violent father. Violent father. Good cuts. Sorry, I'm late for maths. It's my favourite subject. It's so important. lunch for me today, but I'm only truly happy when I need him. Not today, Gary the Fist. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free coat. Brilliant, keep going. <laughs> right, uh, who are you to stand up to me? I, Gary the Fist. I thought the other guy was Gary the Fist. With two gay who's all alone. That's you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. Vanessa is of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. But I can't fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. Maybe you should sing about it. Oh no. <laughs> Take a look at me. Take a little look. I didn't do that bad of a job here.
I just started hitting the button for censoring in time to the music at a certain point. Nathan for you episode with the blue smoke detector. Except actually happening. It's good editing, sort of. Hey kids, I'm Gary the Fist. Think folks like me probably shouldn't this. But that's just prejudice, and I'd do better if you knew the way that I came down in the fist. That rhymes really well. <laughs> I grew up on a council with <laughs> the park was hip, but the flat <laughs> went great. My dad used to come out <laughs> and drunk and late <laughs> to hit my mouth. Oh, the sensory is the worst. <laughs> How long does this go? Oh, that's right, I just started going from their faces to their legs. Censored. I've been holding it down this whole time. It must just be doing that automatically. I, I definitely did not do this. I tapped it. I didn't hold the whole thing. Ah. I didn't switch the sound on when it switches to the broadcast. I don't know. I left it on there and there is no live feed. Oh, I don't know. I must have. Well, thanks, Neil. <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't hold it this long. It seems like the game saves whether you. S oh my god, it just makes noise now. No, the, the game is just beeping. That wasn't me. Out of curiosity. Okay, yeah, that does turn off. <laughs> oh no, Chris has been er er evicted for not paying rent. You know where this is headed. Dun dun dun. Perhaps because it's it's like 4 a.m., guys, and I have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> so I feel like I'll probably pick this up at some point. Yeah, I do. At least I think I do. It's very confusing. I thought I said I didn't have to go in, so... I don't know! Because my boss feels like we should all come in. The university doesn't especially want grad students to come in. I'm under the impression that I will show up, and if the door is locked, then I don't go to work. And if the door is unlocked, I go to work. Like, I... I have no idea what's happening. So technically the university is closed for 
non-essential employees, and they consider postdocs to be essential, but they don't consider grad students to be essential, except in specific circumstances. And I don't know what those circumstances are, but my boss listed me and a couple other people in the lab as quote-unquote essential. Whether or not that gets approved or results in us getting access, losing access, I have no idea. I mean, I went to work as per, eh, as per normal last week, but this week I have no clue. <laughs> so I'm just gonna see what happens and do that. But, uh... I don't know how much more of this there is, but definitely going to play it again, for sure, on the next broadcast. Uh, vaguely tempted to start it again, just because I feel like once you get a better grasp on the controls and know how things go, it uh, might be a lot more entertaining. Uh, probably not tomorrow night, but maybe later in the week. Anyway, thank you for suggesting Not For Broadcast, thank you for suggesting Coin Simulator, thank you for watching, thank you for coming back after me not streaming again for a year and a half, but hey, that's two streams in like two or three days, so that's more than there's been in probably two years, but thanks again for watching. I will follow up on this game in a bit, but for the time being, it is time to sleep by playing no game.